You get a very rich sound, which sounds like brushing. When we started seeing the film in colour against the, the music track, you then start noticing gaps where you do have to have some sort of effects to fill in. When Tilly puts down the uh, bucket, we had three of us doing that. Howard was on spade, sound assistant was on bucket, and I was on door when we did it in one take. Not everything works first time, and it was decided that a trained voice was needed for Tilly's song. The song at the end is actually not that easy to sing. Uh, it's got quite a range in it, and you've got a, a, a high note in it, which whoever's singing it needs to sing it properly, because you know, otherwise you won't believe it. And you've got this very sophisticated orchestral track underneath it, and if you don't do that, it seems a bit odd. So we did have difficulties finding someone to, to give us the right mixture of a good voice and to use against the orchestra. And out, out of the blue, there was this uh, new young girl called Charlotte Church who had, had just a, appeared like one of our stars in the film. And so we recorded her doing the song. She's got the same sort of confidence, I think, as, as say, Ali Jones, because, of course, I, Ali Jones later recorded Walking in the Air with, with quite colossal success. And I remember we were recording. For some reason, we'd lost the, uh, the wipe-in onto the beginning of one section. And so I said, I'll, I'll give it to you. I'll give it to, to you off the, um, off the footage counter so I did it the first time and the second and the third time I forgot so she says next next time round she said yes so Mr Blake don't don't forget to bring me in next time I thought this is a professional <laughs> <laughs> I know certainly when Howard originally okay. was writing <laughs> the music he wasn't okay. going to put a song in and I said I said to him, please, Howard, you must have got three children. And for the last eight or nine years, all I've had at Christmas concerts is the walking in the air theme, and I'm sick to death of it. Please, can we have something different? So that's when he said, all right, I'll see what I can do. And he came up with Tilly's song, which I think is <laughs> the sweetest song, and my children sing it the whole time. It's a lovely little song. No. Which take would you like it to be? Take four. <laughs> With the music recorded to everyone's satisfaction, the film is nearly complete. As a bit of fun, each of the key people who worked on it are featured as animated characters. I am the lady in the shop. Myself and my children are a mother and two children in the zoo. The pianist is Howard Blake. Paul Madden, executive producer, is a sailor. You can only hope that um, if the bear has been made with the same love and affection that the snowman was, that um, it will do something similar, but who knows? John Coates, the producer, is the baby in the cot. The snowman and the bear will make two rather nice bookends for the last 16 years of our making these kinds of films. And I like that. The one I love most is Raymond Briggs, is the man in the moon who Tilly waves to when she flies past him. It's a different way of thinking, really, to books. Much more movement, obviously. And I couldn't begin to do it myself. Thank goodness I can <laughs> let other people get on with that. No.